In this video, we are going to see the summary of English snobbery written by Aldous Huxley. Aldous Huxley was an English writer and philosopher. His original name is Aldous Lionel Huxley. He was born on July 26, 1894 in Guadalmink, United Kingdom. He completed his UG degree in English Literature at Balliol College, Oxford and worked as the editor of the literary magazine Oxford Poetry. He was elected as Champion of Literature by Royal Society of Literature in 1962. He died on November 22, 1963 in California, United States at the age of 69. His notable works are Brave New World, The Dose of Perception, The Perennial Philosophy and Island. English Snobbery is an important essay written by him in which he writes about gossip writing and its popularity. Now let's see the meaning of the word snobbery. Snobbery is an unattractive trait caused by a person's belief that he or she is inherently better than others. It has to do with social class and the idea that someone who has more money or went to a fancier school is worthier than someone who doesn't have these advantages. It is an attitude of superiority that is the habit of treating other people as inferior and also arrogant or condescending behavior toward others. The word snob means a person who feels superior over those from lower social classes, education levels or other social areas. Now let's see the origin of the word snobbery. The word snobbery originated from the word snob in 1800s, snob was a British slang meant person of the lower classes. Now it means one who despises those considered inferior. The definition of snobbery is the trait of condescending to those of lower social status. Now let's see the summary of English snobbery written by Aldous Huxley. In this essay, Huxley talks about gossip writing and its popularity in England. This essay is about the excessive snobbery of the press in England. Huxley says that English newspapers and weeklies allot a large space for gossip writing. Writing about the activities of rich people and aristocrats occupies a large space in English weeklies. In England, gossip writing is a highly paid and creditable profession and in this essay, Huxley criticizes this. In England, three expensive flourishing weeklies devoted themselves to absolutely nothing but the life of the rich and the titled. They give only importance to write about the life of the rich people and the aristocrats. Huxley says that in England only we can find the headlines like Pierce cousin in a car crash in newspapers and weeklies. We cannot find this type of headlines in the weeklies of any other country. Expensive English weeklies exhibit the pictures of elite people walking in the park with their friends, attending race meetings, eating dinners for incurables or dancing in fancy dress for crippled children. They publish the photographs of these people in most of their pages. In the past, only the really rich, the definitely titled and the unequivocally West End stars were chosen to be photographed. But today, to get new subscribers, these weeklies go down to wreck the county hedges and ditches for content. Now, local people like Captain and Mrs. Snapmaid, Napmaid with their daughter Angelica walking with their friends are portrayed in the weeklies. It shows the sad decline of expensive weeklies in England. For the sake of business, weeklies are doing like this. Now, there are not enough girls and actresses to be portrayed in weeklies. So, to fill the void or the empty space, the napweed, napweed, that is the local ordinary people are portrayed in all the pages. In short, the snobbery exploiting weeklies follow these to get new subscribers and to develop their business. In this essay, napweed and napweeds refers to 
local people or the ordinary people of England and yells and actresses are elite people compared with yells and actresses the napweed napweeds are numerous in number the income of yells and actresses exceeds 2000 pounds a year but locals get only less income circulation among the elites is what the expensive and snobbery exploiting weeklies possess these weeklies are read by thousands of people disinterestedly they must be read interestingly so that they use snobbery then huxley talks about the reward of snobbery too in this essay according to him the reward of snobbery is enjoying the boring pleasures of the rich readers of gossip columns relate their wealthier contemporaries with film stars and heroes and the heroines of the novels by reading gossip columns the readers enjoy and experience the boring and uncomfortable pleasures of the rich people through their imagination Some people read gossip columns for delight and some others for sarcastically laughing for the elites these pleasures are just an ordinary everyday reality but for others it is a delightful compensatory fiction people are forced to believe that most readers positively enjoy the snobbery columns of newspapers and few others accept these columns uncomplainingly just like they accept the income tax or the rain in summer season huxley questions the english society for being keenly interested in the life of the rich and the titled than the people of other countries he says that attachment to tradition may be one of the causes of snobbery He says that the established habits of the past and the meaningful title of a lord that kindled curiosity among the public is also one of the causes for snobbery moreover the national consciousness and the high standard of living of the english are also other reasons for snobbery according to huxley the sub middle class people are large in number in england they have enough money to preserve for their survival but not enough money for a pleasure seeking lifestyle so they manage to find these pleasures in gossip columns huxley says that the objects of snobbery are themselves the greatest snobs aristocrats or elites enjoy being taken down photographs by others when they are walking in the park or drinking champagne for charity they consider this privilege as an essential part of their life for the rich and the titled snobbery is not a superfluous or unnecessary luxury but it is a necessity they are snobs because they are egotists or self seekers they admire and appreciate the rich and the titled because they themselves are rich and titled like them This kind of snobbery exists wherever there is a privileged class. Huxley says that gestures or acts of aristocratic and plutocratic self-admiration are not accepted or encouraged publicly in other countries, but in England, large numbers of English people derive a deep satisfaction from gossip columns. they are ready to listen to the privileged class congratulating itself huxley says that unless and until the ears of the public are willing to listen there will be no end to snobbery the english snobbery or the snobbery of the ruling classes in england is allowed free expression and so it takes the offered opportunity daily thus through this essay Huxley shares his opinions on gossip writing and its popularity in England. Till now in this video we have seen the summary of English snobbery written by Aldous Huxley. Hope you would have understood it very clearly. Thank you for listening.